And your two separate groups working their way around. And your Rotex Master, sponsored by the Holster Store. Check them out online at holsterstore.com. And Jerry Brown in that 600 currently running in that third spot. As that first group of carts making their way around, that'll be Rotex Masters. And Castro, your leader now in your Rock Masters. And Castro, as I said, to set a quick lap time of 59.484 in qualifying. Scott Roberts, Rotex Masters. Turning at 101.379 in your Rotex Masters. So the field will work their way around, working on our first group of pre-finals. Rotex Jr., that'll be Rotex Jr. on the grid. Rock Sr., you are pre-grid. Well, Scott Roberts moving right along. Got a decent lead as he works into turn number one. Kevin Coy running second. Jerry Brown runs third. In your Rock Masters, it's Castro, Francois Brunwebo, and Hankinson. As those drivers now working off at of turn number one. Working on our very first pre-final of the day, seven laps. All right now, two groups on the track. That'll be Rotex Masters with Scott Roberts right now leading. Scott, again, set fast time earlier this morning. Castro, your leader, Rock Masters. As the field will come around, he'll complete lap number three. This time, Myers Roberts heads into turn number one. Kevin Coy actually closing up that gap a little bit now. As Kevin Coy, about four-tenths of a second behind your leader. As he'll head into turn number four. Castro will get plenty of real estate, gets around Jerry Brown, going to bring Francois right with him. Castro is your leader in Rock Masters. Francois running second in Rock Masters. Looking at some time, Scott Roberts, a 102.033 for Scott Roberts. That's been his uh, best quick time. Castro, his quick time, 59-611. He just did it here in lap number three for Castro. So four laps in, just over the halfway point, four in, three to go. Scott Roberts, your race leader. In your Rotex Masters, Scott still uh, about eight-tenths of a second advantage now over Kevin Coy. So a little change in la lap number four. Kevin Coy was pretty well closing in on your leader now, about eight-tenths of a second. Got to separate first and second in Rotex Masters. In your Rock Masters, it's still Castro overall quick time with a 59-611 for Castro with four laps in, three to go. Francois Von Rebo running, uh, running in that second position. So final two laps to go. As Francois had a good run going, he'll turn it around right here before the start finish line, and he's going to bail out. So Francois Van Wevo will park it for the pre final. At the time, Francois was in that second place position with five laps in, final two to go.
Rotex Jr. You're now on the grid. That'll be Rotex Jr. Rock Sr. Rock Sr. You are pre-grid. So White Fly will come out this time by. It'll be the final circuit. Rock Masters, Rotex Masters. Castro. And Roberts. I'm not sure what Roberts, what he was doing going down that front stretch. It looked like he did not want Castro to come by. Those are two separate classes. Gave the uh, who's number one sign too coming off turn number one. Not sure what that's about. Roberts running in your Rotex Masters. Maybe took a little offense there the way Castro came off turn 17. But Scott Roberts not happy with Castro, but they are running separate groups. With Scott Roberts, your Rotex Master leader, Castro, your Rock Masters leader. So here comes Castro, your Rock Masters leader, and he'll exit off a of turn number 17. He'll score the win in the free final. And Scott Roberts scores the win in the Masters. Up next will be your race tech development, Rotex Jr. Brian Lockwood making his first start of the season. 
And he's on the pole. Bellinger outside row one, starting third to 92 of Austin Garrison. Quentin the Boover in the 298, starting fourth, fifth. It'll be Ryan Norberg in the 248. Sebastian Sear in the number 22, starting sixth, seventh. It'll be the 12 of Sarah Metcalf. Zachary Hancock at a 338, starting eight, ninth. It'll be the nine of Tyler Jordan. Andrew Fountain in the number 11, starting in the 10th spot, 11th. It'll be the 78 of Sierra Smith. Colin Schmidt in the 68, starting 12th. And Will Winfrey, starting in the 13th spot. Your Race Tech Development Road Tech Junior lineup. Team car scheduled to take the green. See some very close times all the way back into the fifth place position. Chris got to look him over and he'll pick up the green. We're underway as they'll make their way to turn number one. Three wide on the entry. They'll shake him down. Still three wide off turn number one and they'll continue to move around. Top three drivers single file. Everybody will get in line as they make their way into turn three for the first time. So everybody coming out of there pretty well as they'll head down into turn number five. And Ryan Norberg coming off a victory at uh, Fort Myers. Current points leader Ryan Norberg. Ryan starting fifth here in his pre-final seven laps. Olivia Bellinger, second place finish at Fort Myers. They'll feel a cycle around for lap number one, seven lap pre-final. They'll work their way to turn number one, Austin Garrison, your race leader. Austin coming from that third place starting position. Austin making his second start this season in the Rotex Junior Class. Austin with a third place finish at Fort Myers. Right now he's up front as the field will work their way in lap number two. Rock Senior needs you to the grid. That'll be Rock Senior. You're on the grid. Cadet Sportsman, you are pre-grid. Cadet Sportsman, you're pre-grid. Heavy traffic off turn number 14. Field going to make their way into turn number 15. Top three drivers pretty tight on the entry to turn number 17. They'll exit off turn 17. They'll work their way down the front stretch. Garrison, your leader. Bellinger running second. Lockwood, pole sitter, running third. Quentin and Boover having a good run. Currently fourth, fifth. It'll be Ryan Norberg. Bellinger get enough to get around your leaders. They'll work up in that uh, Juan Pablo Montoya turn. They're going to see an exchange now for that second spot. That'll be Brian Lockwood trying to dig himself back up to the top. And Brian Lockwood will move up in the second. Field's going to make their way into turn number nine. Lockwood making his first start this season in the Rotex Junior. Matter of fact, making his first start with the Florida Karting Championship Series. Longtime racer with the series. Right now coming off a very quick time at the pole position. One, oh, uh, one minute, one, three, three for Brian Lockwood. Brian now going to go to work on your race leader. That'll be Austin Garrison coming off turn 17. There's Garrison, your leader. Lockwood running second, third. It'll be Bellinger. And we're running in the fourth place position. Sebastian Sear in the meantime will move up to the fifth spot. So Sebastian Sear having a pretty good run. He gets a spot. As he takes that away from a Norberg. And Brian Lockwood is pretty strong on his previous lap. And he's going to go right back where he left off. And he'll take the lead away. Obviously very comfortable going up into the turn number five area. And moves up onto the final turn. And he'll take over the lead. So brand new leader, Brian Lockwood. And Brian Lockwood with your... 
pole position. So second different leader in behind Austin Garrison. That'll be Brian Lockwood, your brand new leader. Still gonna work their way into turn 17. There's your leader, Lockwood. This went a long way from over top four drivers, really flying off turn number 17. So four laps in, three to go, just over the halfway point. Second different leader, Brian Lockwood, with a tangent of friends behind him, Garrison, second, Bellinger, and of Uber. That'll be second, third, and fourth, all in behind Lockwood. So Brian Lockwood dropped back to third, got the second, going right up that hill, making the pass. Now we're going to see some moving there. Coming through the Von Gill turn, moving up a spot. Looks like Bellinger will hop up in the second. Obviously, these drivers in this class, the Rotex Junior, like it going up that hill off of turn five and definitely building up some momentum. You can find that right position. They'll be able to make the pass. So they'll continue to flip-flop around for that second-place position. He'll come into turn number 15 with Brian Lockwood as your leader. Ballinger now moves up into that second place position. Garrison back to third. So Brian Lockwood, your second different leader with two to go. Opens up a good three-car late lead on the way. Into turn number four. Able to work their way around. They'll pick up the white flag next time by two different leaders. So far, again, with Lockwood, your pole sitter, drop back to third. And right now, he'll work off turn 17. He'll pick up the white flag. There's Brian Lockwood, your leader. No change in the top four. Lockwood, Bellinger, Garrison, and Boover. Top four drivers off turn one. Meantime, it'll exchange now for that fifth place position. Looks like Ryan Norberg now going to be challenged. Good little race there. That'll be Sebastian Sierra. Wow, good race for fifth. Those drivers now going to head into turn number five. Need Rock Sr., you're on the grid. Cadet Sportsman, you are pre-grid. So pole sitter Brian Lockwood trying to hang on a couple more turns. He's under the gun. Staying right with him is Bellinger. Bellinger working off turn number four, or 13 now as he'll head in to turn number 14. With Lockwood still holding on, he's got the pressure behind him, they'll head into turn 15. Lockwood with a full cart length advantage into turn number 17. Needs a good exit off turn 17 and he will be able to do that. And he'll score the win. Lockwood, your winner. Bellinger coming home second. Garrison to Boover. Good run for Quinton. And Ryan Norberg going to win that little battle for fifth.
Cadet Sports Spaniel now on the grid. Cadet Sports Spaniel on the grid. You need Shifter Senior Stock Motor, uh, Stock Moto Masters ICC. That'll be Shifter Senior Stock Moto Masters ICC. Need you to the grid. Cadet Sports Spaniel now on the grid, and we are ready to go for your Verta Speed Resource Rock Senior. And here's how we'll line them up inside row one. Ashley Rojero in the number 17. Outside, A.J. Myers into 28. Randy Taylor will be starting third into 199. Fourth, that'll be the 29, Dominic Torsoel. Starting in the fifth spot, Aaron Schmidt in the 26. Garrett Peterson starting sixth. Seventh, that'll be Benjamin Hankinson. Eighth, that'll be Austin Jordan. Ninth, that'll be Eddie Rodriguez. Tenth, that'll be Jose Rivera. And eleventh, that'll be Nolan Kelly. So that is your Rock Senior lineup. They are ready to go. Seven laps. Cadet Sportsman, you're on the grid. That'll be Cadet Sportsman, you're on the grid. Again, great program by your Rock class. And again, take a look at their website, rockcupusa.com. As they sent four USA Carters, the all expense trip, uh, trip to Italy. A little bit later on this fall, a great, great program of our Rock Cup USA. And we are ready to go. Look at it. Go green. It's out. We're underway. Feel the work off turn number one. Ashley with the advantage into turn number three. Your top two drivers getting a great run. Now Ashley under the gun coming into turn five. And we'll see a lead change early on. It'll be A.J. Myers now. Looks like he'll take over the top spot. A.J. qualified second. Best lap time, 57-1-2-1. Cadet Sportsman, you're on the grid. That'll be Cadet Sportsman. Boy, Dominic Torso continue to pick up some pace. He'll move up one spot. So Dominic up into the fourth place position. A.J. Myers, your leader, staying right there. Ashley, we're staying right with your race leader as they head into turn five. And those were the top two drivers. Ashley setting fast time, 56.982. A.J. with a 57.121. Top two drivers are going to work their way into turn number 17, led by A.J. Myers. A.J. coming from outside, roll one, and he'll take the field into turn number one. The rest of your traffic really stretching out the battle for that top position. They'll work their way into turn number three. Ashley, lap number two, turns quick time, 57-601. You remember, she qualified 56-982 earlier this morning. I expect the speed to taper off a little bit here as we continue to work our way into the afternoon hours. So lap number two, 57.601 for Ashley. Top four drivers in the 57-second bracket. Well, this will put us up to three laps in. This time buys your leaders come off turn number 14. Led by A.J. Myers. Got one off now. That'll be in turn number nine. Actually, two carts getting together. There's A.J. He'll pick up the halfway sign. Three laps in, four to go. A.J. turning to 57.499 here in lap number three. That's quick time. And he's got about a cart length of lead advantage now into turn number four. And Ashley getting a very good run coming off turn five, climbing up that hill. We've seen some early passing already today. 42 going to turn it around. Nolan Kelly in the number 42. Kelly will bail out of that machine, get it off the front stretch.
J.J. Myers, four laps complete when they come to the stripe. There's your leader. Ashley running second. Torso running third. A.J. Myers in lap three, 57.499. That has been quick time. Ashley about three-tenths of a second behind your leader. And everybody else, single file. Four laps in, three to go. Looks like Austin Jordan at 332, one of those drivers involved with that along with Rivera. So Rivera and Austin Jordan getting hung up there off of turn number nine. They're going to see a pretty good race coming off turn 10. That'll be A.J. Myers, your leader. Ashley running second. She's still in striking distance. So stay right there with your leader. They'll come off turn number 14. There they are down to turn 15. Final two laps this time by. Both drivers really whipping it out off of turn number 17. Now we'll see if Ashley will make that run going up off of turn five when they go up that hill. That has been the spot where the last couple races we've seen some good passing coming up in turn five up the hill. Through the Fangio, but again, Ashley unable to bring in AJ, so they'll work off turn number eight. Still knows the tail. Your leader's going to head into turn number 13. Hankinson also off the track now. Benjamin off turn nine. So I lost a few drivers here early on in this uh, pre final. Here comes your leader, A.J. Myers, right there in tow. Ashley going to stay right with him. Chris will show him the white flag, one to go. Ashley going to hammer it down on the entry to turn number one. Closes up the gap through turn one. Now they'll separate by a cart length off turn one. Still about a cart length advantage for A.J. Myers. They work into turn four. We'll see if Ashley can get it up going now, going up that hill. Still a cart length going to separate first and second. Ashley unable to close the gap off turn number six. So AJ took it over from Ashley a little bit earlier on, your second different leader. Now AJ got a little bit wider coming off turn nine to continue to hold the lead. Ashley about a cut length going to separate, not a cut length and a half on the entry to turn 13. No change there. A.J. holding on to that top position. Couple more turns for A.J. He'll work in turn number 16. Turn 17. Here comes A.J. now off in turn 17. He'll head to the line. A.J. Myers will score the win. Ashley coming home second. Dominic Torso, a great run for Dominic. He'll pick up third.
need shifters. That'll be senior shifters. We'll need you to the grid. That'll include stock modal, masters, ICC. Need you to the grid. Rock Jr., you are pre-grid. That'll be Rock Jr., you are pre-grid. And we are set to go. Your pre-final TS Racing Cadet Sportsman. Devin Buteau on the pole in the 08. Aiden Keel on the 577 starting in the second position. Starting third, the 10 of Saracino. Fourth, it'll be Dylan De Niro. Fifth, it'll be Jake Nepper in the 95. Sixth, it'll be Hunter Padilla. Seventh, it'll be Hollins Head. Eighth, it'll be Ramirez. Ninth, it'll be Mayo Livingston. Want to give a shout out to Devin Vuto's uh, grandma tuning in here. And of course, we appreciate everybody trying to join us here on Father's Day weekend. As you pick up the live feed on the Florida Karting Championship Series website, want to welcome you in as we come to you from Monticello, Florida. Race weekend number three with their, excuse me, race weekend number four with the Florida Karting Championship Series. We're about ready to go. TS Racing Cadet Sportsman. And grandma, are you pretty happy? Devin Vuto with quick time and on the pole. And we are ready to go. Green is out. Devin with the advantage as he works off at turn number one. And he'll squirt off turn one as your leader. The Shifter Senior, you're now on the grid. That'll be Shifter Senior, Stock Moto, Masters ICC. And Rock Junior, you're pre-grid. Rock Junior, you are pre-grid. Son got a pretty good top three battle. And going to see a little movement now for that fourth place position. I feel working on lap number one, TS Racing Cadet Sportsman. He's seven laps. Devin Buteau setting quick time earlier this morning with a 108.417. Devin will cycle around for lap number one. So, Bateau, your leader. Keel running second. Saraceno third. Ramirez will move up into the fourth spot. Ramirez started ninth, and right now he is currently running fourth. As Ramirez, 1.4 seconds behind your leader. Ramirez going to work now on third place running Saraceno as they'll work off a of turn seven. Devin Buteau right there keeping on him. That'll be Aiden Keel in the 577. Ramirez trying to work around Saraceno. That'll be for third place again as the 103 Ramirez started ninth. And by one lap in, he's moving up into that fourth place position now working on third. Leaders coming off turn 16. Led by Devin Buteau. Keel staying right with him off the exit of turn 17. Meantime, Ramirez will pick up yet another spot. He gets around Saraceno. Boy, Ramirez, he is on a mission. He's quickly closing in, and he gets a great run off turn number one. Ramirez... About a second behind your leader, so he picked up well over half a second on that previous lap. And he is closing in on Keel. As Keel going to look to the inside for the lead. He's side by side with Devin Buteau, and he's got the advantage. Devin going to hang tough. They're still side by side. They'll work off a turn number nine, and it'll be a new leader as Keel gets it away. So Aiden Keel, your second different leader, but here comes Ramirez, and he's right on the heels now with Devin Buteau. They'll head into turn number 13. Top three drivers nose to tail. They'll work in turn 13. No change. Keel, Devin Buteau, and Ramirez still nose to tail. They'll work their way into turn number 15. So brand new leader off of turn 17 with Keel. Anytime Ramirez finally working around Devin Buteau for second. Now he sets his sights on. Your race leader, Ramirez, lap number three, just turned a 108.347. And he is on a mission, as it is not only on a mission, he's on the heels of your leader. 
into turn four. Devin Vuto staying all over the back end of Ramirez. I think they're going to try to make a move as they go up the hill. There goes Ramirez to the inside. Devin going to go right with him. And Ramirez will bring company with him and Devin Vuto in the second. So good racing as Ramirez will take over the lead. Third, a different leader. It's Ramirez, Buteau, and Kiel. One, two, three, as they come into turn 14. So Ramirez, your third different leader, starting from the ninth position. And he's got Devin Buteau right on his heels. Kiel staying right with him. Boy, they are tight coming into turn number 16. So four laps in, this time by Devin Buteau with quick time, 108-224. So he's got the hot shot right now. And he's in the middle of the sandwich, Devin Buteau, off of turn number two. Look at him all over the back end of Ramirez. We'll see if Devin will try to take a shot at your leader, Keel. Watch both of those guys come by. And they'll stay single file off of turn number eight. And Devin Buteau, 108-224 here at lap number four. And they'll work into turn number 11. No change there. Top three drivers pretty well glued together. Now they'll work into turn number 13. Into turn 14. Still Ramirez, your leader. Buteau running second. Third, it'll be Keel. Here they come now into turn number 14. Ramirez got a peek over his right shoulder. They'll come down the front stretch with two to go. This time by Ramirez, Buto, and Keel into turn number one. All knows the tail. Good battle up front. Three different leaders, and all three of those guys right there have had the lead, with their latest one being the 103 Ramirez. Five laps in. Led by Ramirez. They'll work off turn five. Now Keel going to get out of line, gets right back in line. And it'll go nose to tail. Meantime, we're seeing some good race in mid-pack. As they'll come off the pond, you'll turn some good race in mid-pack. That'll be fifth, sixth, and seventh. Padilla, Diaz, and Nick Nepper all doing a good battle there. That'll be mid-pack. In the meantime, Keel will scoot up a spot. He'll take over second. So a couple good packs of racing. Good battle for fifth and a great battle up for the top spot with Keel now into the second place position. We'll pick up the white flag. If it's going to happen, you got to do it on this final trip around. Ramirez is going to whip it down the front stretch. White flag up, one to go. Boy, Keel pretty quick, and he turns quick lap. 108-0, for Keel. Look at this battle. In behind the 88, Diaz, Denver, Cadillo, all moving around as they'll work off turn five. That's been a great battle, but up front, your leader, Ramirez. Keel running second, Devin Buteau third. Now Keel going to go to the inside as they come up the hill. Going to bring Devin right with them. And a brand new leader, that'll be Keel with Devin Buteau now in the sandwich. Meantime, couple of carts getting together off the exit of turn two. Brand new leader up front. Keel. Devin Buteau and Ramirez nose the tail into turn number 11. Good racing. That'll be your fifth lead change as they come into turn number 13. Now oh, again, they get together. Buteau and Ramirez. Keel going to break away as Devin Buteau and Ramirez get together coming into turn number 14. And here comes Keel. He'll take it and he'll head home as the winner. The 10, a Saracino will pick up second, like a little thank you, boys. And he'll pick up that second spot. Ramirez coming home third, Devin Buteau, and Diaz picking up the fifth spot. Great racing. Out of the cadet sportsman, five lead change among three different drivers. As Devin Buteau and Ramirez trying to get that spot back from your leader. And they get together coming off of turn 13 into turn number 14. 
Well, you talk about some very good racers. Outstanding run. Devin Butel, Keel, Saraceno, Ramirez coming all the way from dead last, and he'll pick up third. We'll move on to your shifters, Rock Jr., you're on the grid, Rock Jr., you're on the grid. Tag, you are pre-grid, Tag, you're pre-grid. So your stock moto, Nick Nary, setting fast time. He'll be in row one with A.J. Myers to the outside. Ashley Rojero in row two, John Lakotic in the 54. Row three, it'll be Oliver Askew, Brian Hassel in the number 71. In row four, continuing on, stock moto drivers, Kurt Matson in the number 25, Morgan Healy in the 16. A starting ninth, Matthew Sanford in the number 24. Tenth, stock moto driver, Chris Gannon. Ryan Grevy in the 33 will be starting 11th. ICC driver, 
Marcia Vigera in the number five. That'll be ICC driver Morgan Pagano, the 07 ICC driver. And Lohenbau in the number 17, Denver ICC driver. Masters drivers Dan Brubaker, Chad Lee, Jason Bain, and Chris Putnam. Those will be your master drivers. So we'll get them lined up. They'll come to a complete stop. Chris will get them all lined up, ready to go. Seven laps, your shifters. Stock Motor, ICC, and Masters. Nick Nary, overall fast time, 55.098. Boy, he is flying and qualifying. So Chris will raise the arm, and he'll let him go. Well, the 54 slow off the line. Very slow. Now they're going to pile them up. Three drivers hung up here on the front stretch on the entry to turn number one. Now you got another one off the track, and that'll be turn two. Very hard hit coming off a of turn two. So rough start early on. At least four drivers out. Now we'll see one more driver get back on the track as the field cycles around. Looks like that'll be the 24 of Matthew uh, Sanford in the stock moto class. So Matthew back on the track. As Nick Nary will cycle around. Got a clear sailing now for Nary. Track is clear. Nary off turn number one. Junior, you're on the grid. Tag, you're pre-grid. Need to bring him up. Tag, you are pre-grid. So, Nary, your leader, early on off of turn number 10. Nary with about a two-card length advantage over Ashley Rojero in the number 17. Ashley qualified third overall in the stock moto. You're going to really whip it off a turn number seven. He gets it in there. Yeah, it's so important to come off that line with that shift. And you see what happens when they, even one driver does not get off to a good start. They can stack them off. Josh McGarry going to make a pass here deep in the field. Now we've got a little battle. These guys going at it. That'll be Jason Bain in the 41. Both of those guys in different classes. Gary running in the ICC class and Bain running in the Masters. Nick Nary, lap number two, 55824. 55824. Nick will cycle around and we'll pick up the halfway sign. So three laps in, four to go. Nary into turn number two. He's got a full second advantage over the Ashley Rojero. Checking your ICC leader right now. It'll be Morgan Pagano in the 07. That'll be your leader ICC class. Right now, Morgan's got about a three-second advantage over the uh, five machine. Marsha Abaguera in the number five. That'll be, again, your ICC class. Nary, your stock moto leader. He'll head to the line. Four laps complete this time by for Nick Nary.
Rock Jr., you're on the grid. That'll be Rock Jr., you are on the grid. Tag, you're pre-grid. Tag, you are pre-grid. Here comes Neri, elects it off turn number 17, shoots down the front stretch. Four laps in, three to go. Neri off of turn number one with a 1.3 second advantage for Nick Neri. So Neri opening up that lead, heads into turn two. Ashley running second, third will be A.J. Myers, fourth it'll be Oliver Askew. Kurt Matheson in the top five. And those are all your stock moto drivers top five. Here comes Nick off of turn number 15. He elects it off turn 17. White flag up, one to go. There's your leader. Nick Neary off of turn number one with a 1.4 second advantage. So he's picked up about a tenth of a second on that last lap for Neary as he'll head into turn number three. So your top five in stock mode will be Neary, Rajero, Myers, Askew, and Matheson. That'll be your top five. Morgan Pagano, ICC leader. So Nick will cycle around for the final time. Set quick time earlier this morning. And he'll head home into turn number 17, Nick Neary. Goes wire to wire, and he'll head to the line. Neri, your winner, Ice uh, Stock Moto winner. So Neri will pick up the win in your Stock Moto class. Baker will pick up the win in your Masters, and Morgan Pagano will score the win in your ICC class. So good racing out of the shifters.
So set to go, Orlando Kart Center, Rock Jr., Ryan Norberg, going off a quick lap time of 59.248. He's on the pole. Outside row one will be the 492 of Austin Garrison. Sasha Brunweevo, pretty good qualifying effort. She'll start third. Fourth will be the 11 of Colin Warren. Lelucci starting fifth in the 31. Devin Bowerman sixth. Mason Carroll starting seventh. Eighth, it'll be the 12 of Sarah Metcalf, and Colin Schmidt will be starting in the ninth position. So ready to go, Orlando Kart Center Rock Jr. Need tag, you're on the grid, Mini Rock. You are now pre-grid, Mini Rock, you're pre-grid. They'll feel nice and slow as they'll make that approach to turn number 17, final turn. Ryan Norberg in the 48, Austin Garrison in the 492. We're talking about some good drivers right there all the way to the field. And Chris going to let him go. We're underway. They'll work at a turn number one. Couple drivers going to go three wide off turn one. Man, Garrison all over the back end of your leader. Norberg is there coming into turn number four. Colin Warren going to gain some ground. He'll move up into the third spot. He's under the gun coming through the turn. He'll hold it on as uh, Colin now third. Uh, qualified fourth. Gets around Sasha. Ryan Norberg up front.
Tag, you're on the grid. Mini Rock, you are pre grid. So, no burger, your leader, cycling around for lap number one. Lelichi will pick up another spot. That'll be the 31. Now moves up in the fourth. Sasha will drop in the fifth. She's dropped back two spots. After a good qualifying effort for Sasha, she qualified in the third position. Right now, fifth. Austin Garrison staying on your leaders. They'll work off at turn number seven. Sasha Brunwevo going to take that fourth place spot right back off of turn number nine. So Sasha back in the fourth place position, chipping her way back up toward the front. Leaders off turn 14. Looking to complete lap number two. Here comes your leader, Norberg, with Garrison running second, Colin Warren third. They'll head down the front stretch. Ryan Norberg, one minute, two, eight, three. That's quick time for your race leader. So overall quick lap in this race, one minute, point two, eight, three, Ryan Norberg. So far, Ryan, your one and only leader. Harrison and Colin Warren running second and third. Austin Garrison staying right there in the tire tracks of your leader in the turn number 12. They'll continue that little battle now in the turn number 13. No change up front. Race leader Norbert Garrison and Kellen Warren, your top three. They'll head into turn 15. Single file traffic on the entry to turn number 17, led by Ryan Norbert, your pole sitter. He'll work down the front stretch. So three laps in, four to go, just at the halfway point. One and only leader so far off the pole, Ryan Norbert. Running second as Austin Garrison started there and continues to run the tire tracks of your leader. Cowan Warren qualified fourth, currently running third. Now he's looking to the inside. Maybe going to see an exchange for the lead. And we will see a flip-flop as Garrison, your new leader. So Austin Garrison will take it away here just over the halfway point. So second different leader. That'll be Austin Garrison now, your brand new leader into turn number 13. A lot of passing going up that hill, coming off turn number five and out of the, through the Fangio turn. We've been seeing a lot of passing here this afternoon through that turn. And up front, a brand new leader, Austin Garrison. Man, he's got a whole bumper full of Ryan Norberg as they work down into turn number one. Boy, Norberg glued to your leader on the entry to turn one. Four laps in, three to go. All of a sudden, you got a five-card mix now for the top spot. Sasha Brenwebo just turned quick time, 59.803, and she's currently in the fourth spot. She had a great qualifying effort, qualified third, and Sasha with a 59.564 in qualifying. Definitely got a quick card boy. She goes to work now on Colin Warren. Staying right there on Colin on the entry to turn number 13. So we'll see two to go this time by. Top four drivers button up, two to go. Led by Garrison, Norbert running second. Calvin Warren, Sasha Ron Weevil off turn number one. Good exit for Austin Garrison. As he'll take the field into turn number four. Sasha got a little bit of speed going as she peeks to the inside, gets right in behind Calvin Warren. And I think Sasha may have thought twice about going to the inside of Colin Warren going up that hill. Obviously, it's a very quick cart. Right now, the quick one out there is Sasha. And lap five, she turns a 59.670. Definitely a little bit quicker than Colin Warren, but can't get around him. Right. 
So last two laps, Sasha Van Weevil has picked off quick time. So here they come, white flag will hang. There it is, Crystal Show it to him, one to go. Austin Garrison, your second different leader under the gun as they'll come off of turn number one. No change up front. As Norberg tried to peek it in there on the inside, was denied. Now he's going to have to regroup heading into turn five. Doesn't look like he's got enough there. He's about a cart length and a half behind your leader into turn five up the hill. Through the Fangio, no advantage there for second running Norberg. And a pass, that would have been the place to do it. Norberg going to close it up now at the entry to turn number 13. Still up front, Austin Garrison, second different leader. Garrison going to hold Norberg in behind him. Sasha trying to get around. Cowan Warren going to be denied. Cowan shuts the door. They'll come off turn 17 for the final time. Here comes Austin Garrison, and he will seal the deal. Norberg coming home second. Cowan Warren comes home third. Sasha will pick up fourth. Salucci rounding out your top five. Good racing out of the Orlando Kart Center Rock Junior Class. Need Mini Rock, you're now on the grid. That'll be Mini Rock, you're on the grid. Shifter Junior, you are pre grid and we're ready to go. Riser Racing Tag. Dustin Strauss on the pole in the number 71. Santa Kodak in the number 310. Outside row one. In row two, Corey Tolles in the 04. Mike Andrews Jr. starting fourth. Fifth, it'll be the two of Zeb Davis. Randy Taylor starting 6th, 7th will be Austin Jordan at 332. Jason Devine will be starting 8th in the 29. Shaley starting in the number 9 spot in the number 15. Eric Filgara starting 10th. Porter Aikett starting 11th at a 322. Ricky Brooks scheduled out in the 12th starting position. Jonathan coming in this weekend as your points leader. As a win, couple second place finishes. Brandon a winner down at Fort Myers. Mini Rock, you're on the grid. Shifter Junior, you are pre grid. Horizon Racing Tag. So, Chris will look him over. Field going to make their way into turn number one. And we'll see green. We're underway. Jonathan trying to crisscross over. Dustin going to hold them off off the exit of turn number one. And Dustin with a great qualifying effort, 57-374. Being told that is a track record and the tag class. Right now, he'll be your leader as he takes the field off of turn number seven.
And Dustin making his third start of the season in the tag class. Coming off a great run at Fort Myers. Dustin finished third at Fort Myers. Best finish so far, so we'll see if they'll step it up. Well, field cycles around for lap number one. There's your leader. Ross will take the field in the turn number one. Third, fourth, and fifth. That'll be Corey Tolls. Brandon Salyer and Mike Andrews Jr. Good race in third, fourth, and fifth in behind Corey Tolls. Sixth and seventh. Got a good little battle brewing now. Shaley and Mike Andrews Jr. doing battle. They'll work that little race into turn five. You're on the grid, Shifter Jr., you're pre-grid. So Dustin continue to open up that gap. He'll shoot down the front stretch. So Dustin will open up a 1.1 second advantage. He just rolled a 58.159. 58.159 for your race leader. Dustin with a 1.1 second advantage. I gotta believe this young man gonna start to break away. Single file traffic. Can see it's some tight racing now. That'll be for that fourth place position. Brandon along with Zeb Davis. Zeb Davis starting to close in on Brandon. We'll see what's going to work off at turn number 11 for those two drivers. Brandon going to hold them off. Zeb gets a little wide off the exit of turn number 10. Dustin continue to turn up the heat, breaking away from Jonathan as they'll work off turn number 17. So Dustin will pick up the halfway sign. Three down, four to go. Dustin, a 57.990. Just like it qualifying, continue to get faster and faster for that number 71 machine. Jonathan running second, 1.7 seconds behind your leader. Corey Tolls running third. 3.2 seconds behind your leader. Brandon Sellier running fourth, fifth. It'll be Zeb Davis. Porter Ecton running in the sixth spot. Shaley running seventh. Mine running eighth. Mike Andrews running in the ninth spot. Eric Filgaris tenth. Ricky Brooks running in the eleventh spot. Austin Jordan off in the number 332. And Dustin making his second start in the tag class here with the Florida Carding Championship Series. And he is definitely making the most of it. He continues to break away. Dustin now with a two and a half second advantage. Gotta believe that race now gonna be for that fourth place position. Got a good three card battle in. Behind Brandon, Zeb Davis and Porter Aiken all mixing it up. That'll be fourth, fifth, and sixth. They'll head into turn five. on your final three laps to go. Mini Rock, you're on the grid. You're up next. Shifter Jr., you're pre-grid. Here comes Dustin. And it may have been a Jonathan may have shut it down as he comes to a stop off turn 14. So Jonathan will retire that cart. Now it'll put Corey Tolls now second as Jonathan will bail out. So something shuts down on that machine. So Corey Tolls will move up into the second position. Zeb Davis will now move up to third. Jonathan will coast into the scales area, gets it off the track. Uh, 
Well, Dustin going to cycle her out. He'll come off a of turn at number 17, and he will see the white flag. There it is, one to go. Checking out in a different time zone. There's your leader off a of turn number one. Corey Tolls running second. Look at Brandon now closing in on Zeb Davis. Got a good little battle. That'll be for third. Brandon all of a sudden showing a little muscle. Got a little extra stuff going on now as he closes in on Zeb Davis. Right now, that's the race coming off of turn four. Zeb got to separate that little bit going up the hill to the five yield turn. Dustin cruising right along in the 71. He has checked out on the field. Dustin with a 5.7 second advantage over Corey Tolls. Boy, Zeb Davis doing a great job as he's keeping Brandon in behind him for that third place position. Here comes your winner. So Dustin will score the win, goes wire to wire. Corey Tolls in a 0 4 will pick up that second position. And Zeb Davis will come home third as he keeps Brandon in behind him. Shifter Jr. did the grid. That'll be Shifter Jr. We'll need Rotex Masters and Rock Masters for your final. Once again, we will get a 10-minute intermission for Invocation National Anthem. Give our corner workers a quick break, and then we'll get rolling into our finals. And again, we'll need Rock Masters, Rotex Masters. We'll need you to the grid. So your Orlando Kart Center, Mini Rock, Aiden Keel inside row one in the 55. And Senzo Saraceno starting second in the number 10. Good qualifying effort for the 418. Dylan Gennaro will be starting third. Ricardo Ellsmill starting fourth. Fifth, it'll be Juan Diaz. Sixth, it'll be the 11 of Mayo Livingston. Jordan Hepner in the 513 starting seventh. Eighth, it'll be the 139 of Ian Keel. Ruben Gillett to 21 starting ninth. Tenth, it'll be the 456 of Zachary Hollinshead. Gabriel Ramirez in the 428 starting 11th. 12th of the 104 of Ryan Peterson. Scheduled out 13th, the double zero of Landon Kelly. 14th it'll be Hunter Padilla. 15th it'll be Peretta. 16th it'll be Ramirez. And Tyler Gonzalez in the 57. Shifter Jr., you're now on the grid. Rotex Masters, Rock Masters, you are pre-grid for your final. Once again, we will take a 10-minute break for our corner workers, invocation, and our national anthem before we do get started with Rotex Masters and Rock Masters. But we'll lead you to the grid. Rotex Masters, Rock Masters. Orlando Kart Center, Midi Rock. And a very good program. There's four USA Carters. will get an all-expense-paid trip to Italy this year, guaranteed. A Rock 
MiniCupUSA.com. Check out the website for more information. Ready to go, Mini Rock. And green is up. We're underway. A little bit of shuffling going on. Contact. At least two cards going to get taken out early on in the entry to turn number one. And up front, it'll be Keel, your leader. Saraceno into that second place position. They'll head off a turn number four. So Keel, a lot of heat in behind him. They'll work up the hill to the find you. Those two drivers now back on the track. So everybody's still running. Working on lap number one, Orlando Kart Center, Mini Rock. Seven laps. Shifter Jr., you're on the grid. We need Rotex Masters, Rock Masters. We'll need you to the grid for your final. All finals will be 10 laps. Good job, guys. Good job. Well, Saraceno, keeping the heat on your race leader. Up keel to work off turn number 17. Saraceno off to a very good start. Young man, staying on your leaders. They'll head off turn number two. Good start for the 11 of Mayo Livingston. Mayo currently being third, uh, scored in the third spot. Ramirez fourth, Diaz fifth. Now a little exchange, it looks like, for that third spot as they'll work off turn number seven. And traffic continue to move on now. Moving up into that second spot as Saraceno, it looks like Saraceno will drop back one. So Saraceno is your leader as they work off turn number one. Keel second. Third, it'll be Mayo Livingston, your top three. Dylan De Niro, a great run. Dylan running fourth as they continue to move around. So Saraceno is your leader. Boy, Dylan looking a little antsy there, trying to get to the inside of Keel. Going to be denied. Very tight top three drivers. Saraceno, Keel, and Livingston. And Saraceno qualifying in that second place position, second different leader. Top three drivers button up now on the entry to turn number 13. Still going to hold them off is Saraceno. Keel running in that second spot, Livingston running third. Let's see an exchange now, almost for that uh, fourth spot. Not going to happen as your leader's going to turn one. That'll be the 456 of Hollis Head. So Hollis Head continue to move up. Going to bring Tyler Gonzalez with him. Tyler being scored in the fifth spot. And now Gonzalez will move up the fourth. Meantime, in exchange for the top position, Keel again will take it over. And Keel going to bring some company with him. That'll be Mayo Livingston. So yet another lead change as Keel takes it away from Saraceno. Ramirez, excuse me, Tyler Gonzalez in lap number two, 105.503. Tyler Gonzalez, quick lap in lap number two. Gonzalez right now in the fourth place position. Your top three drivers coming off turn number 15. Led by Keel. So head to the line. Mayo Livingston running in the second spot. Saraceno running third. They are really buttoned up. A couple of good packs of racing. And Livingston going to go to the inside of Keel. He'll take it over. So yet another leader. Here comes Saraceno. Going to bid for that second spot. Going up the hill. Going to be denied. Good racing. Top three drivers. Great battle for fourth and fifth. 
So it'll be Livingston, your leader. And that will not last long as Keel. Just as I said it, he'll come right back and takes it away. Got to believe he's bringing Saraceno right with him. Yep, Saraceno now in the middle of the sandwich. So it's Keel, Saraceno, and Livingston. Top three drivers off of turn number 14. They'll work down the front two laps to go. Wait, Tyler Gonzalez, he's definitely bring it in. Your top three drivers coming off turn number one. Gets a great run off of turn one. Tyler Gonzalez, lap five, just turned a 105-266. He's on the move, Tyler Gonzalez. There's your top three drivers working into turn number five, led by Keel. Saraceno in the second spot, Livingston running third. And we've seen a lot of different areas where these drivers have passed each other. Look at Tyler Gonzalez digging hard, trying to reel in the top three as they come into turn number nine, and he's bringing them in. Tyler Gonzalez closing in on your third place running card of the Livingston. He'll hold it on to the top position as a work off turn number 14. Tyler Gonzalez, he's bringing them in. As they come off at turn number 15, led by Keel. This is going to be a great final white flag lap as they come down the front stretch. Keel, your leader. Four car battle in a turn number one, led by Keel. Mayo Livingston running second. Well, correct, that'll be Saraceno running second. Now Saraceno going to go for the top position. And Keel will hold them off, so it'll be, looks like Keel, Saraceno, you got a five-card battle now in a turn five. Looks like Saraceno going to go to work on your leader, Keel. Third, fourth, and fifth, going to try to bring in your leaders with Keel, your leader. Through turn number nine, Saraceno going to whip it up a little bit higher through turns nine and ten. And Saraceno staying right there on your leader. They'll work in turn number 13. And they're going to go two wide off of turn 13. Three wide now into turn 14. Battling for that third spot with Keel, your leader. Saraceno trying to work to the outside. He's got the advantage. Down the front stretch they come. It'll be Ramirez coming off that turn. He'll score the win. And Ramirez coming along with Tyler Gonzalez. He even threw me off for a loop. He'll score the win. So here's your rundown. Ramirez picking up the win, coming out of nowhere as he really made the move off turn 13. Keel coming home second. Saraceno third. Livingston fourth. Fifth, it'll be Tyler Gonzalez. I'm going to tell you, you don't want to miss this final later on this afternoon. It is a good one. About six different lead changes among five different drivers with Ramirez sneaking out at the very end and even had me fold as he came through turn 13 and making that pass coming into turn 17. Great job, though, by our Orlando Kart Center Mini Rock class.
for invocation and national anthem will be Rock Masters. Rotex Masters will be your on the grid. Rotex Super Super Grid. Ella Grand Prix Victor Jr. Ellinger on the pole, Austin Jefferson outside row one. Seven in the number 14. Once again, will be Rotex Masters, Rock Masters, your on the grid. Norberg with a 48. And your Ocala Grand Prix, Shifter Jr. Chris will get him lined up, ready to go. Raises the left arm, shows him green. We're underway. Norberg cannot get off the line. And he continues to stall that cart. And it looks like Norberg ready to bail out. As Olivia Bellinger gets off to a very good start early on. They got company right with him. That'll be Austin Garrison. Austin going to quickly try to exchange for the top spot. He'll do it. Through the five, he'll turn. So a brand new leader. That'll be Austin Garrison. Yeah, they're going to go quickly go back and forth. Bellinger and Garrison off of turn number 10. So a couple of quick lead changes early on. Need Rotex Masters, Rock Masters. You're now on the grid. That'll be Rock Masters, Rotex Masters, Rotex Junior. You're pre-grid. Be a little battle here early on. Bellinger and Austin Garrison as they'll head into turn one with Garrison, your leader. Again, we need Rotex Masters, Rock Masters. You're on the grid. Rotex Junior, you are pre-grid for your finals. So continue to see a good battle. Garrison Bellinger, they'll work down the front stretch. Bellinger with a 57.563. Quick lap for Bellinger so far in this race, but currently running second. Now they're going to go side by side. They'll flip flop one more time. Good little race in there between these two drivers doing a great job in the Shifter Junior class. Rock Masters will need you to the grid. Rotex Masters, you're on the grid. So Bellinger, your leader, takes the field off of turn number one. Bellinger, lap number two, turned to 57.563. And right now, he's up front into turn three. Rotex Jr., you are pre-grid. That'll be Rotex Jr., you're pre-grid for your final. And we'll get in our invocation, National Anthem, and we'll get set to go racing. All finals will be 10 laps.
So just over the halfway point, four laps in, three to go. Bellinger, lap four, 56.980. Quick lap of this race for Bellinger. And we need Rotex Masters, Rock Masters. Need you to the grid. So a little separation up front as your leader works off at turn number 17. So Bellinger will work down the front stretch. Two to go for Bellinger. And lap five, Bellinger turning to 56.966 here, just in lap number five. And Bellinger earlier this morning qualified with a 56.799, so he's closing in on that mark. Well, just a lap and a half to go for your race leader, Olivia Bellinger. Here comes Bellinger off of turn number 17. He'll pick up the white flag. There it is. One to go for Bellinger. Good run for Seve. Get a little seat time here in your junior shifter class. Seve to the line. He'll see the white. Send him around one more time. So Bellinger got to work off at of turn number 12. He'll head into turn 13. Nice run through turns 13. 14 heads into turn number 15 for the final time. So here comes Bellinger. And Olivier will work off at of turn number 17. He'll seal the deal. There's your Shifter Junior winner. Bellinger will pick up the win. Garrison coming home second. A couple lead changes between those drivers. And Seve will pick up third as he'll head off at of turn 17 and crosses the line.